Welcome back, girl and boy, to my divine creation. Oh yeah, welcome back to the channel, guys. Oh my God, I'm in another good mood. Every day is a good mood with the J, man. You know what I'm saying? Got this nice ass shirt on, man. I'm chilling. Got a few boys that I'm about to be kicking it with. You know what I'm saying? Every day is a good day. For the reoccurring subscribers, welcome back. You know I love you. I know I love you having you here. You know what I'm saying? That didn't really make sense. I love you, love you having you here. <laughs> I love having you here. You know what I'm saying? For people that are new to this channel, welcome to the Divine Family, baby. On this channel, it is dedicated to success stories, motivational videos, and manifestation-related videos. You know what I'm saying? So let's hop in. Before I hop in, actually, okay? Before I hop in, I just want to let y'all know, if you could go ahead and just like this video, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and subscribe. Shit, kick it. Let's expand this shit to the YouTube world, baby. You know what I'm saying? Actually, you don't really got to do that, but I, I'm just throwing the suggestion out there. <laughs> so, in today's video, it's going to be a half and half video. You know what I'm saying? Do you smell what the J is cooking? It's going to be half how to get rid of a third party type of video and half how to manifest multiple desires kind of video. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. So, what do I start with first? Hmm. How to get rid of a third party. All right, I'm gonna actually make a separate video about this, but I just needed to say this because I've been seeing a lot of people struggling with this, it seems like, you know what I'm saying? How to get rid of a third party. Well, shit, man. I said this in my group, it's gonna be posted below. I posted about this. The best way that I feel like to get rid of a third party or one of the best ways is to stop fucking focusing on them. <laughs> Seriously, like I said on my post, where your focus grows, Shit begins to, no, no, where your focus goes, shit begins to grow, and eventually the shit will begin to show. So, in your reality. So, stop focusing on the third party. Even just talking about them in like a story, if you're explaining yourself. Stop, remove all focus from the third party entirely. They don't exist in your world. No, no, there is no competition, okay? Nobody is going to... Get with your SP, except for you, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, all right? I don't give a fuck if it's the strongest man in the planet. Nobody's going to have your SP except for you unless you allow that shit. So the thing is, really check in with yourself and ask yourself, why am I allowing this to happen, okay? What is going on within, you know, within me? God damn, I slurters. Yeah, there it again, shit. <laughs> ask yourself, what is going on within you? What, why am I allowing this to happen, okay? Really get become conscious of your thoughts, okay? It's really important during this process to become aware of your thoughts and where they're going and, and what you're saying and all that stuff, okay? I know it can be hard sometimes, hard, but it's really important that we do things on a daily basis to um, get into that state of mindfulness, okay? And awareness and, and becoming aware of our thoughts, Okay, because like I said, even just talking about the third party in if it's if it's something that's in your reality, yes, even just talking about it will promote that shit, okay? Because it's already a fact in your world, okay? It's an experience. So, best way to get rid of a third party, like I said, stop focusing on them. Stop placing your focus. No speak. No here, no thought, nothing. No focus on that third party at all. Remove your focus from them, okay? Like I said at the beginning, I'm going to reiterate this. Where your focus goes, shit begins to flow. I actually didn't add that part, but I'm adding it now. Where your focus goes, shit begins to flow, shit begins to grow, and shit begins to show. I said that four quadruple S. Yes! So, that... Is a recommendation for you. So, that's all I'm going to say about the third party. Okay, it really is as simple as that. Um, sure, you could get into imagining and whatnot. Like I said, I'm going to cover this in a separate video. But I'm just addressing this because I know a lot of people seem to be struggling with this. So, second half of the video, man. This is what I've been waiting for. How to manifest multiple desires. That's right, baby. Seed after seed after seed. I'm actually going to be talking about this from a Neville Goddard kind of standpoint because that's what I've done 
in my life and, and applied his teachings through the form of imagining planting multiple seeds. So I'm going to talk about it in that kind of way. But first, I want to say this. You, and I know this, we're taking this back to the basics. I understand that. But I need to reiterate this, okay? God damn, yes, I do. You are always manifesting. Bam. Period. You are always manifesting. There is no stopping it. It is always constant. It is always working. It is always happening. It is always happening. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get it, girl. Get it, boy. So, having understood that, because we're always manifesting, okay, and because we are what manifests, we are the consciousness that creates, and we are imagination, okay, we have the ability to not focus, I mean, some people say that you can only focus on one thing at a time, and that may be true to an extent, um, but some people feel like that you can focus on multiple things at once. I personally feel like that focusing on one thing at a time has been better for me. So let me elaborate. Let me take a seat. God damn. Let me take a seat. So from a Neville Goddard standpoint, what do we know about manifestation? Okay. We know that we imagine something, get ourselves into that state of kin to sleep. None of this is absolutely necessary to manifest. But um, I'm just sharing what I know involving the teachings. So you get clear about what it is you desire. You get yourself into that place of, of uh, that state akin to sleep. And you imagine. You feel it. You feel into the experience. Maybe incorporate your senses. Sight, touch, hearing, smell, all that. Um, although I agree with Joseph Ally when he says that our whole being is made to create. So even incorporating just one of those things, maybe sight or an inner conversation is enough to plant the seed. So you imagine, and again, I'm just sharing from personal experience. Um, I used to be a big visualization type of person until I came across the power of affirming, um, the power of thought. So I would imagine certain things, maybe imagine getting a sum of money or imagine um, getting a free cup of coffee just to test out the faith and the power that this shit is possible. Um, but I would also imagine other things too, like getting an apartment. Actually, this apartment that I'm in right now, I imagine getting. Uh, the apartment that I shared in the other success story, which I'm going to link below, I did by just simply setting the intention and, and just knowing that it was going to happen. But this apartment that I'm in right now that I'm moving out of, um, I did imagine for. So, you get yourself into that relaxed state, okay? When my definition of the state of kin of sleep doesn't necessarily mean that you're fucking, it's before bed. I mean, people say that we go into this state multiple times throughout the day, which I do agree with. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're fucking every single time it's directly before bed. I mean, you can, the state of kin to sleep, all that really is, is just deep, deep relaxation. Okay. It's deep, deep relaxation. Like that type of relaxation where you just laid out like, ah, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's really it. Okay. So. Think about it like this. You get yourself into the state, okay? And then you start imagining what it is you desire and you feel into it, maybe incorporating one of those senses, all of them, inner speech, borderline, bottom line. What I'm saying basically is plant the fucking seed. Now, I'm incorporating the whole imaginal thing because again, this is what I did. This is what I know Neville Goddard did and many of his followers. And this has been proven time and time and again to work. It's always working though. <laughs> um, so you plant the seed, okay? And it's as simple as that. You want to manifest multiple desires. You're already manifesting. So start dropping multiple seeds, okay? I know you've heard other YouTubers talk about this. But, it, you know, there's a reason why they're talking about it. There's a reason why they're sharing this valuable information. Because it evidently does work. It has worked for many, many people and will continue to work. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me reiterate, this does not mean, I am not saying that you have to do it in this kind of way. 
I'm just sharing with you, again, third time, what has worked for me. You feel me? You smell what the J is cooking. Do you know who you is? Yes, I do. So, um, plant the seed, okay? For me, personally, how I know that a seed has been planted is, well, I'm not really having contradicting thoughts. I'm not really having um, uh, doubtful thoughts, fearful thoughts. I'm in a state that's relaxed. I'm in a state that's chilled out. I'm in a state that's vibing out. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really worried about it too much. Another indicator, and this is kind of funny because I did test this out when I first got introduced to Joseph Ally. Um, shout outs to him, man. That man is brilliant. But um, he was talking about how a good indicator that the seed has been planted is that you don't feel really the same like kind of uh, crazy like feeling that you would feel or that you would have felt um, when you first was engaging with the imaginal act. And what I mean by that is Let's say that you're imagining a one-year anniversary um, on like a beach or something. You're coming up behind your person and um, you're just like, happy anniversary, I love you so much. Or happy fifth anniversary, whatever the case may be. How would you be feeling in that moment? For me, I would be feeling love. I would be feeling joy, excitement, peace, all that shit. Booyah, man. I'm five years married, man. You know what it is. So that's exactly what I would be feeling. Okay, and I think the whole point of impressing the subconscious mind in that sense through imaginal acts is to kind of get yourself to that point of naturalness and um, not feeling like, like the crazy intensity that you would feel when you first start doing it, when you first start repeating it, looping it, or doing it night after night. And for me, after testing this through Joseph's methods, what he has to share and teach, I understood exactly what he meant because that is exactly what happened to me. So I think it's, uh, for my opinion, that is a good indicator that, oh, oh, it went dark. Hold on one sec, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. So um, I think that's a good indicator that the seed has been planted. So again, you wanna manifest multiple desires, plant multiple seeds with different desires, okay, from the end or from the middle, whatever it is to you, whatever you feel like doing. Um, if you want a large sum of money, outline a scene, maybe imagine it, plant the seed. You don't have to plant the seed by just imagining, like I said, but I'm just giving an example. You want a marriage, same thing. You want a um, car, same thing. It's really the same fucking thing. We're already manifesting. So you just plant these seeds, trust that it's gonna happen, and if you feel like persisting in them, persist. Don't force yourself, but persist in a natural, healthy way. What I mean by that is persist in a loving way. Don't force yourself, okay? Don't be aggressive with it. So yeah, again, I'm probably gonna make a separate um, video on the third party, and I might even make a separate video completely dedicated to this, but you guys seem to be enjoying these half and half videos. Um, so let me do a recap. How to get rid of a third party man. Remove your focus from them, man. Oh, yeah. Remove your focus from them in full. You get what I'm saying? If you want to manifest multiple desires, plant multiple seeds. Oh, yeah. It's as simple as that. So, I love you guys so, so much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I be speaking the accent sometimes. Y'all want to hear the Batman accent? I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining this divine family. Much love and peace. You know, when I was doing that to my girl, that shit, the cringe that was on her face was unlike anything I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so, I'm gonna hop up out of here, guys. If you desire one-on-one -on -one coaching, everything's gonna be posted below. Much love and peace. I'm gonna go enjoy my day. I think y'all gonna enjoy your day. Much love. I'm up out of here. Peace.